Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Richie. We're from Godlike. And uh, welcome to the third episode of Tone Talk. And what we're going to talk about today is analog delays. Because Maxon just released a new delay pedal called the AD10 Analog Delay, which is this beauty right here. And as you can see, there are many different Maxon Analog Delays, and all of these are current production units. Other models used to be available but are now discontinued. Uh, and the thing we always, the question we always get when Maxon releases a new pedal is, what does it sound like compared to the older models? So we figured we'd do a A, B, C, D comparison for you so you could hear the different tonalities and we'll talk a little bit about the features of the different pedals so you can get an idea of which one may work best uh, for, for your needs. So what we have here are Maxon AD9 Pro analog delay, Maxon AD10, which is the newest model, Maxon AD999, and then the Maxon AD999 Pro. So obviously there's a lot of ADs and a lot of nines here, <laughs> uh, which can get confusing. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the primary features of each of these models, and then Richie's gonna play a little bit through each one, uh, just very briefly so you can get an idea of the tonality of each one. And we have the delays set uh, very, very close to one another right now. In other words, we're going for the same amount of delay time, the same amount of repeats, uh, and the same delay level from each. And all three, uh, all four of these models have the basic uh, three controls uh, are the same, which is delay time, feedback, or which is also known as repeats, or delay level. Um, the Maxon AD9 Pro is an updated version of the old Maxon AD9. The new version uh, was put out because Panasonic had discontinued the uh, MN3205 bucket brigade chips that the AD9 used to use, so Maxon had to come up with a new model uh, using some proprietary bucket brigades that they came out with. So this pedal has 450 millisecond maximum delay time, which is uh, about 150 more than the original AD9 and also the AD9 that Ibanez uh, currently manufactures. In addition to that, Maxon had come up with a new way to filter the delay repeats, which cleans up some of the distortion that's very common on delay repeats with analog delays. Now, some people think, well, you know, an analog delay should have some distortion on the repeats, and we agree, but uh, sometimes it's too much, and that's really where you get the delay flavor is from the way the repeats are voiced and uh, how well it sits in a mix and how well uh, it reacts to your playing because all this, you know, the repeats will wind up getting in the way of your playing if they're not voiced properly. So Maxon came up with this ingenious way of filtering the delay repeats and if it, the delay repeats on this pedal are, they're round and warm and analog sounding but they're not dirt, very dirty, okay? Um, in addition to that, this pedal <coughs> runs at uh, a higher voltage internally so it can be used in an effects loop or into the front end of an amp. And it also has a multi-tap switch. And this is not tap tempo, which some people have confused it with. Multi-tap refers to like uh, the amount of heads, uh, delay heads that were used in tape echoes back in the day. So they had this, uh, it's sometimes referred to as multi-tap or multi-head or beat split. And what it allows you to do, it, it takes a feedback loop off of the bucket brigade and puts it back into the front end of the bucket brigade. So you get uh, basically multi-taps like triplet delays and um, it's an interesting feature and also if you set the delay time really short you can get a really nice uh, faux reverb with this because you're getting the repeats coming from different angles of the stereo spectrum so it really does sound like a, a reverb um, pedal as opposed to just like a, a slap back or bathtub type of delay so th those are the primary features on the 89 pro it's mechanical true bypass switching as well uh, the AD10 is the newest version from Maxon. This pedal, what they were going for was a real, real bare bones analog delay pedal. And what, they're, uh, what they did was they just upped the delay time. It's 600 milliseconds. And it's got very simple controls, just delay time, feedback, and delay level. It's uh, buffered bypass switching and just a mono output. And I forgot to mention that the AD9 Pro also has a uh, dual output, so it's wet dry. So if you put it to two amps, through one amp, you'll get your dry signal. The other one, you will get the delay repeat on it. Okay, so there's the AD10. The AD10 has the same delay filtering as the AD9 Pro. So they sound very, very similar. The only thing is, as you turn up the delay time on any of these pedals, the delay repeats will start to darken up. And that's just because you're going through 
more sections of the Bucker Brigade chip, and it just rounds off your tone. It just chops some of your, your top end. And I should have let Richie play through uh, the AD9 Pro first. So why don't you take, why don't you Plus go you wanna, through. You want to explain them all, and then we'll come back? Yeah, okay. Do that? Yeah, we could do that. I just I figured if they heard it when I, after the explanation. But, yeah, it's probably better if you hear them all at once. So, okay, okay. onward. Uh, AD999. This is uh, probably Maxon's biggest selling analog delay. It came out once again. Uh, it was designed because Panasonic had discontinued their Bucker Brigade chips somewhere back in the mid-2000s. And Maxon got some proprietary BBDs made under their brand name. And they designed the AD999. It's just a, a gorgeous sounding analog delay. It's very popular. Uh, 900 milliseconds of analog delay. There's something just really magical about the tonality. It's uh, It's got a, a very nice warm distortion to the repeats. And also it's got some type of tone spike in the mid-range frequencies. And it kind of pops a little bit uh, when you're playing. It kind of just pops out in a mix a little bit. It's very, very, very nice. And uh, it's true bypass switching, 900 milliseconds. And again, fairly bare bones, you know, delay time, repeat, delay level, and it's got stereo outs. I'd like to just add the uh, how the delay repeats are dynamic with this. So the harder you attack your strings, the more distortion will be on the repeats. Yeah. And opposite. So if you don't strike too hard, you don't really get any distortion. Yeah. And we'll, on them, so. He's right, and we'll show you that in a second. So, uh, and then last but not least is the AD999 Pro, which came out a couple of years after the 999. And the AD999 Pro and the AD9 Pro are very, very similar circuits. They use the same noise filtering uh, on delay repeats. This one is 900 milliseconds, so it's like that one. Uh, double the delay time of the AD9 Pro. It also has three multi-tap switches. It's 3.8, 4.8, and 5.8 beat splits. So you could uh, use these in any combination and you can get all different types of polyrhythmic delay repeats going on in the background, which is pretty interesting. Um, again, the repeats have this RMS noise level filtering. It's They're very pristine, more flat uh, frequency response, a little rounder than the AD999, not quite as bright and not as distorted. Again, uh, mechanical true bypass switching, dual outputs, uh, wet dry. And this one, again, also runs at a high voltage, so it can be used in an effects loop or in the front end of the amp. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just take you through the AD9 Pro really quickly to show you the multi-tap function of that pedal. So uh, you want to start with it yeah, off? Yeah, we'll go cl okay. clean. This is the same setting we had previously. And then this is with the multi-tap switch on. Yeah, so it creates this cool polyrhythmic delay repeat cool. that you can, you know, play against, or it just fills out space if you're just using it for longer notes. Yep. Um, and then what we're also going to show you is just, uh, you know, by turning the delay time down, we can actually get, you know, a very nice sounding uh, reverb for this. Okay, so now we've got it set up to do, uh, we've got the 89 Pro set up to do uh, kind of like a tight room reverb. Uh, which is a kind of cool feature of this pedal. And again, this is with the multi-tap switch uh, set uh, to on. Okay. Okay. Just clean. Adds a little bit of life behind yep. your notes. Yes. Yep. There 
There you go. Okay. So, <clears throat> anything else you want to show on these? Uh, I'll just I'll play a couple, uh, you know, whole notes or something. Do the just show the okay. Which one toggle switches on the okay. 999 Pro. Okay, great. Okay, so just this is the 8999 Pro with none of the multi-tap switches on. Okay, and then here's 38. Okay, this is 48. And then here's 58. Actually, you'll hear too um, these these settings are more noticeable as you turn up your delay time so they'll they'll pop a little bit more and actually what you could do as we mentioned earlier you can use all of them at once uh, which just gives you a, a crazy kind of Yeah, it's just like really filling up the background. It's and, weird. You know, yeah. and again, with longer delays, you'll the uh, the you'll notice this more. All the different multi taps going on in the background, so it's, it's an interesting effect. Um, you know, one thing we didn't mention too is all four of these will do your your self oscillation. Uh, you know, self-oscillating spaceship kind of effects, which uh, we're not going to show you because it's been done a million not times. Does and, uh, yeah, but uh, you know, they all do it. So, uh, but these take these two take a little bit longer to get going just because of the longer delay times. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the Maxon analog delay lineup right there: AD9 Pro, AD10, AD999, and AD999 Pro. So, if you want more info on these pedals, check out the website maxonfx.com also like us on facebook check out our youtube channels this is kevin and richie from godlike tone talk tune in next week thanks a lot <laughs>